what it do, homies. We are here with some new Russian Badger. This time we're watching him steal $124 from a free-to-play game. Crime. Anyways, let's go ahead and shut up and turn it up. This video contains extremely loud noises, so if you're not a fan of landmines or rap songs from 2004, you should definitely leave right More now. More like 2010. This boat game wanted to sponsor a video and give me a custom skin, so I made the USS Lobster Fest into a real thing. Just kidding, that's a lie. I tried to make it into a real thing, and it turns out that would be illegal. Like, very illegal. Much like all Americans, really? I've read the Red Lobster Why? Terms of Service, effective September 2020, and if you remember section 182, it clearly states, Lobster Fest, Cheddar Bay Biscuits, Endless Shrimp, and Seafood Differently are all trademarked terms of Red Lobster, which really? itself is also a trademarked term, which leads- Lobster Fest is trademarked? Wow, nobody's ever used that before and thought, maybe I should hold on to this. Oh, hmm. Leads me to my main point. I cannot legally call my custom skin in World of Warships the USS Lobster Fest. I don't want smoke with any company Lobster. that employs lawyers that are willing to trademark the term Cheddar Bay Biscuits. <laughs> Count me out of that one, dog. Exposing myself to that kind of biscuit clam wait, chowder wait, wait. based lit. Was that Dark Souls players, right? That's actually kind of fitting. Lawyers, hard to beat. Very, very challenging litigation would be a nightmare. I'm about to ruin your career. <laughs> so to avoid a lawsuit, I went with my backup name, the USS Lobsterminator. Uh, no enemy here, just a fuck ton of giant lobsters treading on the water. Now that I'm thinking about it, I could have done better. I definitely could have done better. <laughs> USS Craw Daddy. The USS Harder Craw Daddy. <laughs> I wanted Crawl the devs to make the blue daddy. paint of my ship automatically match the tone of the water like a chameleon. The lobster predator flavored predator. <laughs> but apparently adaptive lobster camouflage would have broken the fundamental balance of the game. So I get you know, I know it's not sea related, but he could have just painted it with John Cena's face, complete invisible, complete. Yes, I'm the asshole, and the answer is no. Badger Jesus wanted adaptive Christ. lobster camouflage. Adaptive Jesus. lobster flage. That wasn't enough. They also gave me my own custom flag and made me a commander, so I'm now an in-game character that can scream at you. That burning sensation you feel is a fire. I personally wrote and voiced oh, over 200 custom voice that. lines, which they approved every single one of. So shout out to Warships for giving me this kind That's of freedom cool. victory, just as the founding fathers intended. <laughs> <laughs> What's even better is that my custom skin, flag, and commander are all available to you guys right now. They so if you want man. me to yell at you, man, that shoreline looks awfully unbombarded. Then use code Badger at the link below. And the flag may be free, but the other two you've got to earn. As a new player, you got to play 15 battles to unlock me as a commander and 30 battles for the Lobsterminator skin on the absolutely based Easy. Tier 6 USS New Mexico. Based? Based on what? I'll even throw in seven days premium time, a port slot, one and a half million That's credits, and 250 doubloons. All of those numbers will make sense eventually. Grind. I didn't forget about you existing players either, because you can unlock all three items as part of the in-game battle pass. Now that you're up to speed on the lobster situation, I can summarize the entire rest of this video with one word. Grind. See, my skin is on that tier six battleship I mentioned midway through the tech tree called the New Mexico. An entire ship filled with men fueled by fried chicken and meth sounded like a good idea for a joke, but I don't think y'all MS Breaking are laughing. So whatever. Now the devs gave me what's called a press account on an experimental beta version of the game, which has everything unlocked, a trillion gazillion dilla dollars in credits. The whole game is basically yours. But those servers were almost entirely filled with bots and having no progression just killed the excitement. Me dabbing up another bot when I have 21 skill commander points, a press account, 86 billion gold in the world's best ship. Hey, big dog. So I started a brand new account <laughs> to unlock the New Mexico from scratch and grind out every item and upgrade I possibly could. One, so I can see how much valuable loot I could rob from a free-to-play game by spending no money like an evil rat, and two, so I can understand every major mechanic of the game by starting from zero. I may not be a smart man, I may not love to read, but I love learning how things work. His ass is not reading. His ass is not reading. His ass is not reading. I hope you're excited for that 40 minutes of yapping about boats, so grind that, on three. One, two, three. Is, is that from, is that from um, Arcane? Arcane Knight? This is from Arcane Knight Asylum. One of them. Origins, maybe? No, it's probably from Knight. First thing was using or my neither. own referral code for a head start with two free ships, two and a half million credits, 200 doubloons, which were like real money, by the way, and seven days of premium time, which enhances all of the earning you do. Just another casual 400,000 credits. In my brain, I split the game between macro, which is stuff like tech tree, credits, unlocks, everything you do in port, and micro, which is the gameplay itself featuring all that boat on boat action. Oh no, you're Come you're on. about to get hit with the doofenshmitz over here, dog. No. Oh no. <laughs> on macro, I wanted to be the filthiest rat possible 
possible. Stacking every coupon, every crate, every credit, every doubloon. I want to take the number to go up to a whole new level. Pretend your homies are ordering pizza and I'm that one broke MF in the corner that isn't paying for shit that shouts across the room. Hey, yo, get wings. That's that is me neat. on macro. A perfect example is daily login rewards, which is free shit you get just for logging into the game. I was on that day after day. Just got another 24 hours of premium time just for logging in. Count me in, Bubba. On micro, I was doing the opposite because Warships now has multiple ways to play like a rat with aircraft carriers and submarines, and I was having none of that. I may sound like an asshole for saying this, but I play Warships to play Warships, not drift around as a floating airport, and not to run a Dolphin class designed for cowards. Playing against these dudes is like showing me a picture of the Pacific Ocean, point out every square with a submarine. Fuck you. I immediately started stacking credits by speed. You know, the, the water physics in this looks amazing running the baby ass tutorial missions that are as simple as playing a game winning a game and equipping a skin i'm not kidding you the st louis i got from the referral code was perfect for this because cruisers have such a high rate of fire it's like they're designed to steal kills for maximum xp game are you gonna let me take your kill big guy all right check this out i am such a fucking rat I'm such a rat! <laughs> you Dude. bastard. That Playing with a different ship every time kicked my XP gain even higher because each win with a unique ship in a 24 hour period boosted my progression by 50 and in some cases 200%. I don't know how many of you are math majors, but 200% is triple the XP, Good, which I took as an opportunity to relearn every ship type and destroyers were up first. These guys are the scouts of warships. They are super small, super fast, and super deadly because bombs may make a big boom, but you sink ships with torpedoes. Oh, you fucking rat! You rat! <laughs> oh, no way! It may be high risk, high reward, but the satisfaction of torpedoes hitting a target when you fire them 30 seconds earlier cannot be tough. All right, let's just take a shot in the dark. Why not? If those keep going, those should hit them. Come on, baby! You can't outrun me. I'm the gingerbread man. Come on! Oh my god, that damage. Holy <laughs> shit. Just remember that destroyers exist to destroy. There's a reason they don't call them survivors. Come oh, on, yeah. baby. It's Come so on, Jover. baby. I'm it's just going to so dodge. Jover. Yo, it's so Jover. It's so <laughs> Jover. Jover. Come on, baby. Fuck Every yeah. Oh my god, hit. the hits. All right, I'm on fire. I'm about to die. Yeah, there's no saving me, but it's totally worth it. That is so worth it. Battleships are the it's opposite like of being super big, super slow, and super tanky, like the Yamato, which is over 70,000 tons and nearly 900 feet long. Of course, you can't weigh it or measure it anymore because it's at the bottom of the East China Sea, but whatever. In case you can't comprehend that scale in your brain, it's about half the size of a 2023 Cadillac Escalade and probably half as deadly, too. You get hit by a 2023 Cadillac Escalade. That's a closed casket. They are not no, opening that shit up for anybody. Go ahead, you your legs up on the dash. Real quick. Go to a new dimension. <laughs> Everything about them may be big and slow, but their range and firepower can be devastating. You gotta get oh up my again, god, from downtown? Cruisers are a middle ground in between those two extremes that I only use to spam high explosive shells and set everything on fire. You're not built to kill a battleship, but you are built to annoy the shit out of a battleship that, and pulls damage. attention away from your teammates like a distracting pyromaniac. The ship is on fire. Submarines and carriers are for cowards, and every single one of them belongs off my screen at the bottom of the ocean. This is going to be so much damage, dude. That's a bullseye. Come on. Split in fucking two. That's 31,500. So Fuck you. <laughs> And I dodge your torps. You're still a piece of shit. I hate you. Streaming this crusade on Twitch was a mixed blessing because on one hand, everything is more fun when you guys are around. Rock fell on my dino nuggy. The meteor wiped out the dinosaurs twice. <laughs> <laughs> This is why I need to stream while I'm recording. World of Warships was like, do you really need to stream this? I'm like, fucking yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, but on the other hand, like it's probably always the best. The best things happen right when you are record or when you when you're recording and now streaming it live, probably. It led to you guys Q sniping me repeatedly, and my team never stood a chance. Oh, you're approaching me, and he's <laughs> no. on the other team. Oh, yo. <laughs> <laughs> he is oh, the Ninoka. He is literally been <laughs> The upside to having viewers that can slap your shit is those same viewers can turbocharge your progress, and they put me on the fast track. I received so much useful advice in such a threatening manner, I can only describe it as aggressive kindness. Damn, Master Plow just DM'd me in game. Awesome. I opened World of Warships just to tell you to take turret traverse, you slungoid. <laughs> <laughs> Did bro just like hit you with a nautical slur? Sl what was he that? did. He yeah. absolutely did. He hit me with a non-Euclidean slur. 
<laughs> Captain, shivers timbers. <laughs> Citadel shots had to be the best piece of advice I received, because once I learned to aim along the waterline with armor-piercing shells, I can make an enemy's health disappear. Wow. Yeah, he's, he's like five, I think, ten? Or five, nine? Thanks like for those three, Citadel like tips. Seven, I think I'm actually tips. knowing how to hit a Citadel now. This is kind of tight. Oh my Honestly, god, that advice is goaded. Shit. Holy god, shit. Damn. Yeah, you just so shoot wait. along the waterline and then they explode because you hit him in the Citadel. Waterline. ADHD Chief, who I see in chat right now, he DM'd me because he found my username on World of Warships and was like, yo, shoot along the waterline, dipshit. I'm like, thank you. There is one shot more powerful than a Citadel called a detonation where you strike an enemy's ammo filled magazine and the whole thing ignites like Tannerite at a gender reveal party. When you watch the ATF shoot the fake dog full of Tannerite. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> so, so. Unfortunately, even after hundreds of games, I never got to see one because of safeguards that prevent them from happening. But if I ever do see one, you'll know what my reaction will be. Motherfucker looks like he asked for the strongest potion. <laughs> when you take the red pill and the blue pill. <laughs> I swear that knowing which shell to use and where to put it is half the battle in this game. I always thought HE breaks core components, sets fires, and does damage over time, with the downside that it can't crack armor, but it turns out that's wrong. Oh. The timing. Wait, what? Citadel with HE? I also thought armor piercing always did more damage than HE because it's punching a hole through the target, but that's also wrong. Armor piercing can shatter and ricochet in what are called non penetrations, where they just bounce off the ship dealing zero damage, Kung Fu Panda style. This is why you need to go back to your ship to just like deflect the shells. Skadoosh. How about Kung Fu Panda? Yeah, have you seen Kung Fu Panda 2? <laughs> There's a fourth one coming out, I think. It's a fucking cinematic masterpiece. You better fucking change your life. <laughs> Get your shit straight. Go watch Kung Fu Panda 2. This oh, whole country's gone to shit because nobody's watched Kung Fu Panda 2. Arm piercing on tiny Mighty ships facts, can also honestly. hit too hard with something called over penetration, where the shell punches all the way through, which my lizard brain does not understand. That reminds me of my friend of mine. He would always go around roundhouse kitchen flies and mosquitoes in his house and I don't know why. <laughs> You are just right now kicking your wall. Just a fly just happens to be there. That cannot be your strat. <laughs> really you take care of household pets. You would Jojo walk up to a fly and just right house kick it? <laughs> it did make sense once I read the wiki on overpenetration. Basically, an armor-piercing shell is designed to punch through armor, then explode inside of a ship. But if that ship is too tiny or too thinly armored, the shell rips right through the entire hull and into the water before exploding. Which okay, that, that that kind of makes sense, right? Because if you if you take like like bullets, like if you was to shoot something that was thin, right? I feel like it would do more damage, maybe if it's shot and it lodged, especially like hollow tips, as opposed to going straight through them. Only deals minimal damage. Maybe. Bruh, four overpens and two ricochets make it make sense. I eventually figured out the nuances between shell types by spamming them at enemies from every possible angle and configuration. Thankfully, this game treats ammo like a shower beer and makes it bottomless. I try to stretch out. out this shower beer for as long as humanly possible. <laughs> shower shower beer makes shower. it more economic. <laughs> yeah, the strategy is to hold the shower beer under the shower so it refills. Infinite uh, beer hack. <laughs> infinite, mm. infinite beer hack. And if shells are half the battle, Positioning is the other half, because there's a delicate the dance to learn. Defensively, you want to angle to your enemy to present a smaller target, protect your citadel, and make his shells bounce. Offensively, you want to be broadside, so you can fire all your available cannons and really crank up the pain. Your mother showed me her broadside. Take that back. <laughs> God, why is the well, laugh funnier than the bro, joke? Did he just turn this thing into a mix of a scorpion and skibbity toilet? Oh, yeah! it keeps topping out. Once I reached tier five, I was starting to feel like a real player and not just some dipshit that used a referral code because I was killing humans instead of bots and taking wins over losses. As long as you don't look at those torpedoes, we're all good, dog. Just don't look it's at them. Just don't look at them. Just keep looking at me, big dog. Just look, look at the perfection. Oh, Thank you. How is, how is Azure just naturally no tactics for this game, dude? Playing a destroyer involves being a rat bastard, which comes very natural to him. Absolutely.
<laughs> and now that I'd sunk my teeth into the game, I couldn't get over how much I enjoyed the slower pace. This is a game that favors brain over reflex and prediction over reaction, which like, was a uh, breath chess. of fresh air compared to my usual titles. It was a blast to be able to play the game, talk to Twitch chat, and catch up with my buddies without being overwhelmed like I usually am on stream. That way, I could finally ask Skulker what he'd do with a genie that granted him three wishes. Okay, I want to revoke Bernoulli's principle so wings no longer work and, and <laughs> airplanes are just canceled. <laughs> Okay, there's four things you can't wish for. I want to multiply gravity by a factor of nine. <laughs> just to see what happens. I want to remove friction. Yeah, yeah, that one's good. And then I want to make, all fresh, water, water, make all, all fresh water salt water, and I want to make all salt water fresh water. All sea life. Also, also, all it also, also kills parent. all the wildlife. Yeah, <laughs> Everything in the ocean yeah. dies. So no, I love that for bees. Like, what do you want, Skulker? I want to repeal Bernoulli's yeah. principle. All right, there's four things you can't ask for. <laughs> <laughs> I want to put a negative sign in front of gravity just to see what happens. And then, yeah, like double world hunger or something. I don't know. <laughs> double world hunger. <laughs> Speed of genie when warning. I ask him to make every electron a proton oh and vice versa. It. No, if you remove inertia skul skulker, it's got to be just like that guy that's just heating up in that diner. You know, the screenshot of him just glowing. <laughs> <laughs> like all of his particles are moving, but he's sitting still. At this point, I felt I had the micro part of the game figured out because my gameplay was decent. I could sink ships and I was winning some of the time. The credits and XP were definitely flowing in, but if I wanted to maximize my economic rewards, it was time to go macro. I gotta start gambling for real. Macro to me is basically all the things you do in port, and I got so deep into this shit it felt like a game within a game. Remember that I'm spending no money here. I'm the broke MF not paying for the pizza that yells get wings, so all of my actions were built around free, free loot. I had my stack down to a science in order to maximize the free shit I could gain every day. Every day, I'd log in for the daily reward. It's completely free just for booting up the game. Santa's gift container? Hey, I got a Santa's gift container. You know what's interesting? Some of those guides, especially like the min-max guides, they will go in and tell you exactly what to do. Like um, people underestimate uh, the free stuff that they give you and, you know, combine that with your ability to save and know what to spend it on. Oh, yeah, 100 percent. You can get very far at the cost of time, which I don't have much of. So <laughs> pay pay to win for me on some games. 24 hours premium, 750. That's a super, 50k, I'll take it. Picking up the 50, 750. Same as yesterday. On top of that, the first time I ever booted up the game, I got a free drop just for reading an article because I'm a filthy rat. Then I'd go to the armory and claim some more free shit at the bottom of the featured page. Check my history. 50 doubloons, which is real money, by the way. Container, container, free day of premium, thousand coal, container, free XP, container. And you better believe my ass will be here tomorrow. <laughs> my next victim was the three daily containers they give you for gaining 37,000 XP, which Usually only takes a handful of games if you win. Then I quad stack missions from calendar, dockyard, combat, and campaigns. Do not let the fancy terms fool you. These are all just missions that are extremely straightforward. Playing in a battle is a mission. Letting the other team beat the shit out of you is a mission. You don't even need to win any of these games to complete the objectives. <laughs> like you play. increase your access level, which is just the level of your account, simply by completing battles, win or lose. The big one is level 15, because the game absolutely showers you in rewards along the way. 13 million credits, nine days premium, five containers, countless boosters and even 500 Jeez. doubloons and real money gold using the boost yeah all these free stuff man you know i found one of the hardest things to do is uh to balance right because you don't want to get too f too much free stuff to kind of kill the economy and everything you still want some incentive uh especially those that have been playing for a very very long time it's a really really hard balance and ones that do well are generally the games that last long in addition to my premium account, made me stack crates and credits at a ridiculous rate. A premium account already boosts your credit gain by 50% and your XP by 65%, but I put on boosters that jacked my gains by 800 and in some cases 2400% per game. Chat's favorite part of this grind were the crate openings, and it was downright sublime to open box after box of high value items like a dirty rat, knowing I had spent zero dollars in the game. The Santa crates I opened gave me a thousand doubloons, four dollars, 30 days premium $10 tier 6 free reach $28 oh, and tier 7 Yukon $40 damn I got 30 days of premium time hey, hey, and you know there's somebody out there that does like the number crunching the money crunching that keeps track on on how much free stuff they give and what it amounts to that's that's some, that's some, a lot of hard work that goes in the background as far as uh, I don't even know what the word for it is but just make sure the economy stays stays uh, uh, safe
It's fucking insane. Add that to the 500 dubs from the leveling, 175 Sorry. from campaigns, and the tier 7 premium I got from the calendar mission worth 9,800 and double checking my math here. I have effectively robbed this game of $124 of value. And even if you're a stickler that wants me to take out the premium time drop, fine. $114 of value. I even spent all the money I made like a rat by abusing the sequential bundles in the shop. Basically, if you buy certain bundles in order, they give you a massive discount. So to continue my streak as a coupon That's clipping much bastard, gotcha game. I got Santa Crate 60% off, two days premium 82% off, two more Santa Crates 76% off, and a final big Santa Crate 79% off. <laughs> But just when I was starting to feel like a genius, I made the worst trade deal in the history of World of Warships trade deals by selling my tier 7 premium Yukon for 7 million credits. Bang! Sell that for 7 million uh, credits. And it's safe to say that those of you on Twitch did not exactly approve of that move. You goof, you goofy yeah, you bingus, rip, no! Dumbass, Why? damn, you, you fucking goober. Money grinding for T8 and up, lamuff. Wermst, re, chat is Wermst. upset for this one. Did he sell the shit? Yeah, I got rid of it. It's gone. Stupid. Hold on, bro. Didn't Wormst. Didn't uh, Smitty invent that or did, was it a thing before? Love to see that, bro. Stupid North trash. I will blow you up like Michigan. It's a good person. <laughs> fucking goober. But chat forgot that the only ship I care about is the tier 6 USS New Mexico that has my Lobsterminator skin. I don't give a shit about tier 7. Chat, oh, well. I'm here to tell you right now. <laughs> we don't care. <laughs> we don't Nothing. care. I sold it for 7 million. I was never going to play tier 7. My favorite part of this crate opening experience was learning that there is actual tech to opening loot boxes in this game. Because when you earn a container, you have a choice of which which one to select. More economic rewards, more signals, more camos, more coal, or try your luck. You see, every time you open a crate, there is a tiny chance that crate is upgraded to a super container that gives you better loot. The safe bet that almost everybody recommends is more coal, because it's a currency you can steadily stack up over time and buy ships. Like I bought the tier 5 premium Marblehead this way. As a matter of fact, I used a coupon for an extra 25% off, because I'm a seething rat that cannot be stopped. But as I was saying, that last option, try your luck, brought the dark urge out of all of my buddies it because it's you. a roll of the dice. If you select this option, your chances of winning a super container go up. But if you lose and you don't land the super container, you'll be stuck with a smaller container oh, instead geez. with lesser loot. You guys know how much I hate gambling and how spilled salt unlucky I am with loot boxes after the CSGO video? You are the least lucky person on earth. Nah. I don't, I don't, so I don't get that. Bro. Not out gamble you for sure. And as hilarious as it is to have a game mechanic where you can gamble on a gamble, I learned to just take the coal and move on. Do not listen to the intrusive thoughts of my homies. You will never the win 36 voices. straight hands of blackjack in your life. You are 36 okay. games of blackjack away from being a billionaire. Yeah, I got him on the latest <laughs> game. Hitting the statistical anomaly would go crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> the dumbest part of this uh, entire grind to unlock the tears. I wonder how far somebody's gotten. New Mexico is that all of my very What's best footage came at the worst possible time. Nice the stream where we were Jack. absolutely stacking XP, playing tier 4s and tier 5s where we won 9 out of 10 games including an 8 game win streak, was the same stream where we barely focused on the game and the entire conversation was out of pocket. I was talking to Pasta about how I didn't know he was black. Goose started cracking a fresh can of soda every time someone placed an order using his gamer subs code which made his sprite loving girlfriend furious. And Skulker poured gas sprite on the fire, fire by trying to min max the situation so Goose cracked and wasted as many cans as possible in the name of carbon footprint. The whole situation is very confusing to me too, but apparently the less I talk about the game I'm playing, the better my performance in that game becomes. Pause, are you Focus. half white? I'm not any white. Not Hispanic any and black, white. my guy. Yeah. Oh, you're black? I did not know you were black. I knew you were Hispanic. <laughs> I did not know you were black. How did you not know this? You're Dominican. That's pretty much just like Mexican and black, right? Just, no, I but I'm God, only... If you call me Dominican again... No, I, I have only Dominican? ever... I you were no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Okay, I have kind only of ever are? heard Pasta talk Mexican. about being Hispanic. I've never heard of him. What, what kind of Hispanic? Oh, Colombian. Oh Jesus. Hey. Correct. Oh. I have definitely heard that Nowhere before. near the Dominican Republic. Oh my I'm god, I said it though. That, that was perfection right there. Them. Chat's like, oh, you're black, Sips Beer. I'm just oh, asking oh, if he's oh, black. Oh, 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 I didn't oh, mean oh, anything oh, by oh, it. Oh, oh, I also yeah. just asked him if he was white five seconds earlier. <laughs> you had white. no oh, issue with that. Oh, you're white? Smelling it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you just keep cans around so you can say shit? Fuck it, I'm doing it. Crack your can. Oh, no. 
<laughs> bro just got cans to spray around. Stop, stop, stop. 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 This is the way. I hope that is a soundboard. I bought a 12-pack today. I just opened seven. Why? You better have Haley. I'm not going to talk you a 12-pack. I have to come back. Actually, fine. You suck. If you don't grab a boot and right, shotgun it, all of them I'm right now, it, at least I'm wasting That's Sprite you. and not gamer subs. Use code. <laughs> <laughs> you can promote your own gamer subs. That's fine. Black lung, baby. Black nah. lung. Ten percent off, motherfucker. Run that shit. Anyway, fuck Sprite. Let's unpoint all this out. Dog. No, I would have went with uh black molasses. Yeah, but but black lung's good too. I'm laughing so hard, my body heated up, and I gotta take my hoodie off. <laughs> now use code pasta because you didn't know I was black. Use code vagrant just because I don't know. Drink some water. Use for code. What did you do, Dave? No. If I ever get a game or something. No, I Citadel. Oh, don't forget about it. Forget about it. The Citadel sure. is basically like an '80s action movie. You hit them in the right spot, they just explode. Photo evidence of the nine oh, open Jesus. sprites on my desk God. right now. By the way, right. yeah, that's a curse. That right. That sprite his... bit was fucking worth it. I sold an order that was seventy dollars one minute ago. Appreciate Yo, you, dog. Incredible. Appreciate you, dog. My girlfriend was like, "You're wasting so much. It's gonna pay for itself, sweetie." Say You're goodbye to this content. Die. <laughs> Holy shit, well done. Well done. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, I was fighting the shadow people. I'm here, I'm here. I love how Skulker joined mm, and played the mm. Lego Yoda death sound the second I killed that shit. Ah, does it play that when you join? It does. Lego. Yeah. Ah. Let's go! Yo, shit, two of them! Hang on. These are my last two in this case. I got another one, though. Thank you, Chad. Thank you for buying games. Oh, that's what's up. Go to the store. Really You're making cool. Goose's whole ass night. That's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> you are making up for the sprite loss. Double barrel, you ready for it? It was, it was, you know, <laughs> That's right, oh, baby. Oh, you can't oh do that. Stop Damn, he's just styling. Deficit. You're just my styling bang, on bang. him now. He pulled both my triggers. My Not wow. Holy spoon. fuck, another order. Hang on. Dude, if I get through another 12 pack of sprite, I'll start going through the coach and then I'll just go buy more tomorrow. Think of how legendary the picture will be by the end, though. Run into me, please. Oh my God, get the duct tape. Please. And just, and... Please. Yo, yo. Yo, by the way. Yes, I just <laughs> fucking crushed him. That was perfect. Right oh, on wait, time I'm with flooding. another crack oh, wait, of the sprite. Because no, I sold yeah, another okay. order, motherfucker. 4721 7198. I see you, King. This is the that stupidest fucking crazy. thing I've ever done for a living. Anyway, my point was that this is the most carbon we've ever produced in this voice call. I recycle. I recycle. All right. Yeah, I, I was gonna recycle. say, I don't care he if you wants drink them. Bush Digger, it is out. not in the contract that he has to chug every Sprite. He would die. Not he a, would not there do is not a, There is 38 grams of sugar in one Time can. Swill. I think I've opened 14 cans oh. because I opened a new 12 pack. Quick there math. are 532 grams of sugar in front of you right now, just in liquid Jesus form. Christ. At this point, I, I am gonna build like a fucking mech in my backyard or some shit shout out <laughs> i need them to get louder and louder and just more and more gain crank the gain on your mic and right, max it out right. in windows discord right. output volume go. max it's gotta be triple boosted setting. all right levels 100 all right the game garrett Crisp voice. Crispiest. this is the final step <laughs> towards enlightenment all right let me make sure the like echo cancellation or anything is on right now <laughs> No, 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 no noise suppression, no automatic gain control. Shh, shh, shh. All right, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's your thirst? Dog, that sounded like you were cracking open a torpedo, dog. Oh my God. Splitting time and space asunder. Oh, Jesus. You are still moving. Stop, you can't You are still moving. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I learned how to throw saying over the summer. <laughs> By the way, terrible news. Need dude. to go get another sprite. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let anyone ever tell you loud isn't funny. Loud is absolutely <laughs> funny. I think Goose should record funny. the next one, and I'm gonna take it into audition and add as much bit crush as I can get my hands on. There but it you is. gotta do it like the portal Camel song. Crush. You know that guy that bit crushed the portal song? Oh my god, is that ever hilarious? You know the portal song? I need to go look at that. He bit crushed it so hard. It's just like so depressingly funny because of how much he crushed it. 
Oh. It's still crunchy. For the sake of not just like straight up wasting beverages now, this is the last spray. Girlfriend has vetoed the bitch. She's like, why are you wasting all our fucking spray, dude? I'm, I'm, just give me a crisp recording. Wait, 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 wait. Are you ready? Go ahead. Here you go. Last one. Has some kick on it. The crisp one. <laughs> no, all right, all right, chat. I taste all right, chat. That's the last one. It's just like a oh, landmine going on. Yes, dude. I was about to say landmine. <laughs> Wait, okay. how many sprites do you have left? Ten. Oh Yo, so can you oh negotiate God. with her? I tried, dude. <laughs> retry the speech check. Retry the speech <laughs> check. Go back, dude. It's I'm a white speech. check. You can retry <laughs> this. <laughs> I'm already just save scum. Go back. I'm doing an Iron Man. I'm doing an Iron Man run of this relationship, bro. I can't go back. Every sprite just gets me closer to the bad ending, bro. Anyway, check this out. Look how many peak mic is peak content. It is. It really is. <laughs> peak, peak, peak mic is peak content, right? Because I'm pretty sure the entirety of the Skibidi universe, right, is most of the audio, especially in the battle, is clipped. It's all peak, right? Now, obviously, they turn down the level so it doesn't, like, destroy your, your ears. Uh, but 100%, 100% it's all clipped. And as a matter of fact, if you guys watch any of the fake anime the fate what was it called fate the fate anime uh the, the, the special effects if it sounds like it's hard hitting it's because it's clipped <laughs> turn it up turn it up turn it's it up it so turn it up turn oh it yeah up. okay you got it, it no you got it bro it's okay <laughs> oh, oh my god <laughs> hold on <laughs> No, nah, you're you're summoning you're summoning an old god. Please stop. <laughs> okay, okay, Morse, Morse all right, okay, okay, okay. Smoker, can you get even louder for that guy? Oh my I god, I hit a three four. citadel. I get... basically hundred to zero to him. Holy shit. This is your <laughs> only warning to take your headphones off. This is your only warning. Alright, I'm gonna tank it. Nope. I'm gonna tank I'm gonna it. We'll see. <laughs> You can uncrack the can. We figured out a way. <laughs> Do that to my eight can. So uncrack can the eight can. Uncrack can. my eight. <laughs> oh. You can sample Put that, that to a heartbeat. Oh, back in the can, so bro. No, officer. I'm not drunk driving. I'm not drinking while driving. Observe. Fuck. Hey, I tell y'all this, bro. If y'all get this to 800 likes, I will sample. That crack, that crack and the reverse, I will find a way to sample into a beat. You have my word. 800 likes, I'll do it. <laughs> there you go, easy money. Uh, uh, no, I guess I'll just... All that work, it did exactly what I wanted, then I unmuted. It's to so say a sample. skulker, but you, you know, you might be washed for real. Skulker ain't never washed. I got four Citadel hits, and I got all my tasks done. And now that I've gained all these credits, all this XP, played hundreds of battles, and finally unlocked the Tier 6 New Mexico hundreds. battleship, you know what the tragedy is? I'm dog shit with it. I am so terrible with this ship. I am absolutely hopeless with the USS New Mexico. You have no idea how embarrassing it is for a developer to make you a commander, give you a custom flag and a custom skin on a ship, only to have that ship be your worst performing vessel with a 35% win rate. Well, well my average of 54% and barely above the threshold of winning one out of every three games. When they asked me what ship I wanted from a list of 11, I not only picked the New Mexico for the obvious jokes I can't make anymore, but it seemed like such a wacky ship that I just couldn't pick anything else. This thing is crazy tanky and crazy powerful. Both the ship and the cannons are unbelievably heavy. This is the heaviest song we have ever written! Met a girl and I really thought she liked me. <laughs> but the downside of that heavy weight is that it's also crazy slow and crazy inaccurate. It's basically a drunken juggernaut wheeling a grenade launcher with syrup on his boots. Every battle is a giant roll of the dice with the most confusing odds imaginable. Perfect uh, I can dodge some of these. Maybe? Uh, you you no. can do They're holding you. It's GG. Oh, that's fine. No, it's a Yo, if I get this guy, that's gotta be. I mean, that's gotta be good hits. It just might not be enough to kill him. No, I got him. Oh Fuck God. yeah. All right, that's so worth it. That's so worth it. Blasting the cannons on this thing is like trying to snipe someone a mile away with buckshot. The dispersion is a joke and frequently makes a cartoon outline of bullet holes around your target. But even with this laundry list of flaws, I still love the New Mexico with all my heart. Sometimes she goes, sometimes she don't. But when she goes, she really fucking goes. Uh, you no way this hits, right? Like, no way that hits. 
course it's gonna hit. How far away could I nail somebody from? I just got a random Citadel hit. I thought I was missing all of those shots. I don't think that's gonna make it in time. There's a lobster skin. No. I gotta put those way farther out. Oh my god, is I hit, hit the Citadel that Herboku. That that's what that damage is. <laughs> also, I just fucking realized there's lobsters trailing you in your wake. Yeah. Oh, that's Yo, pretty cool. that's so good. That's cool. Twitch chat ended up getting the last laugh on me because I not only ended up playing a tier 7 battleship, but also winning a ranked game at tier 7 by ramming into somebody. But here at the end of the video, you have no idea how awesome. incredibly satisfying it feels to have figured out how this game works on a fundamental level. I may still suck, but now I understand understand the economy, the progression, the combat, all the parts that fit one together us, to make a cohesive us. game. And I found this learning process incredibly satisfying. I cannot thank you guys enough for helping make all of this happen. Without your viewership, I'd never have custom skins and I'd never be able to make a video like this. Go Food is just dirt. We made the different shades according to Sigrid. <laughs> <laughs> so true. So true. Now, do not forget to try out World of Warships for free using my link below with code Badger if it's not already there. So you can enjoy my voice, my skin, and my flag just as much as I have. And a final Shout out to all of I you mean, subbed with notifications enough. on. Even if you're like Skulker and you just do it to hate, I'm still thankful for you. I keep notice on just to hate. I'll be in the comments like, this dude a bitch every time you upload. <laughs> if you're just hating, you're wagging. If you're hating but funny, you're better. See, I love hating but funny. Hate, hate, I know some sausage ass fingers type That's this right, tweet. <laughs> Somebody Did said that to Skulker? I know some sausage ass fingers type this tweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> And that's about it, dog. That's all I've got to say. Thank you so much for watching my video and more specifically watching my video all the way to the end. That just means the world to me. Please leave a like if you enjoyed and be sure to tune in oh. next time when it's probably Lethal Company or something like that. I yes, tell sir. you what, my ass Lethal is sleeping company. in tomorrow. I somehow, somehow, Russian Badger might be one of the only YouTubers that can make an entire ad. Like, it could be an ad but his entire thing is informative, but he still finds it. Like if I was an advertiser, I would hundred percent will consider hiring, if I was game for gaming, hiring Russian badge hundred percent because the content. Anyways, at the end of this video, Dave's out.